Hi, it's State Representative Jim Walsh here for our week four update about what's going on in this 15-week legislative session here in Olympia. We've talked about some of the major policy issues already in our previous updates. This week I want to talk about three things. The first is a bill, House Bill 1333. It's a bill requested by the State Attorney General and it's really troubling. Basically what this bill says is it gives the State Attorney General and the government of the state of Washington new powers to investigate and potentially prosecute what it calls domestic extremism and sort out what it calls misinformation. This is a very troubling bill dressed in the robes of uh, uh, fighting uh, extremism and violence, but really what it does is it infringes on your right to free speech and more importantly what the state constitution calls freedom of conscience. The state's constitution talks about a concept that was important to the founders of this country and this state that is kind of like freedom of religion, but it's even broader than freedom of religion. That's this freedom of conscience and the right to think your thoughts and be left to your own devices, your own privacy, to think and believe what you will. I believe this House Bill 1333 really violates the state constitution's protections to your right to freedom of conscience. Just because a state attorney general or some other state officer believes what you think isn't right doesn't give that officer the ability to use the power of the state to prosecute you. It's a bad law that really needs to be, there's no way to fix it, it just needs to be resisted and, and I hope defeated so that it does not become the law of the state of Washington. The second bill that's worth following is House Bill 1155. This bill takes some old policy points around digital privacy, which is an interesting topic in and of itself, and adds a sort of news hook about abortion rights to justify certain changes in state law around digital privacy. It's an interesting sort of cobbling together of two very different concepts. Basically what it's counting on is the current concerns about abortion access and Washington state law is very clear on, on making abortion legal and accessible and links it to data privacy which is a totally different subject full of its own uh, complexities and nuances. I think it's not a great combination. If we're going to have a discussion about data privacy, we need to have that discussion, not sort of uh, make it emotional and make it uh, even more complicated by linking it to abortion access and abortion rights. Finally, I want to talk briefly about housing. The governor has said that this session, to his mind, is going to be primarily about housing policy. And that's a good thing because I think that our state's housing policy is bogged down in too much red tape and delays in standard permitting processes that is the cause of a housing shortage here. We aren't building enough new houses, enough new apartment buildings to meet the demand, to keep the supply in line with demand for housing. And I think the way we should solve it is to simplify the permitting process, which is too long and too complicated and too expensive. The governor would prefer to keep the complicated and expensive permitting process in place and borrow money through state bonds to build government-owned housing. I think that's too complicated and expensive a proposition. Let's do the simpler and better thing and just fix the permitting process. Streamline it. Make it quicker and less expensive for people who want to build houses and build apartment buildings. I think that's the best approach and, and certainly whatever we do about housing in Olympia, it needs to balance those two perspectives. That's it for this week. We are getting into the teeth of the legislative session here and policy bills are running fast and furious. I'll update you again next week, but until then, have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.